Hello, hello. Perfidious Pete here. Back to fulfill my lifelong dream of knowing exactly what it's like to live as a teenage girl in Life is Strange. Really, Pete? A teenage girl? That's been your lifelong dream? Hell yes, it's been my lifelong dream. Who wouldn't want to be a teenage girl, I ask you? Other than, you know, most teenage girls. But uh, especially if you could be a teenage girl with the power to rewind time, I think that changes the paradigm just a little bit. And that's what Life is Strange is all about. It seems like the ability to rewind time and relive specific moments would make those awkward teen years a hell of a lot less awkward for you and everyone around you. And it'd damn sure make keeping your grades up pretty easy. I mean, effectively, you could cheat on every test. Take it as many times as you wanted. Plus, as a teenage girl, you know, they say that even goblins are beautiful at 16. And I've always wanted to know what it's like to feel pretty. And now, thanks to the good folks at Don't Not Entertainment and Square Enix, I finally have the chance to realize that dream. And perhaps, you know, spend a little time enjoying a, a sort of relaxed kind of narrative quality third person graphic adventure game. So I think it's time for us to get to it, because this time, this time around, I'm getting asked to the junior prom, damn it. This is it. This is my time. I'm going to the prom. Just a quick notice also on the gameplay here as we start this up. Um, you are going to hear throughout the game some times where we're going to start a new game. Just some times where it seems like there should be music or audio clues or something going on in the background, and there are suspiciously absent audio clues going on in the background. That's because this is YouTube, and before I recorded this, I went in, changed the sliders, and just killed music. I'm sorry, but you know how YouTube feels about copyrighted music? It's a good way to get your videos, you know, jacked, have your ad revenues revoked, and honestly, I just I just didn't want to mess with it. It seemed like the easiest way to do it rather than play games with the audio and YouTube's copyright system. It was easier to just straight up shut it off, and so that's what I did. So anytime our character puts their earbuds in, you're going to hear some very odd muted background sounds and none of the music that ordinarily would be going with it. This is an awkward place for a teenage girl to wake up in the morning. Somewhere out in the rain, face down on wood. You didn't by chance meet Bill Cosby last night, did you, Maxine? I believe the main character's name is Max Call Caulfield? Caulfield? Something like that? Seriously, though, you didn't, like, go on a... a, a studio tour of the set of uh, Cosby Show, did you? Because that would explain Wait, how you got here. There's the lighthouse. I'll be safe if I can make it there. Yes, because nothing creepy or horrible has ever happened in a lighthouse. Only good and noble things have happened in lighthouses throughout the world. Nothing tragically ever gone awry in a lighthouse, not the scene of a dozens of killings, murder mysteries, and etc. So what are our controls? Um, I'm just trying out some of the buttons. I'm playing with the controller, so if you hear a little snapping and popping in the background, probably just the controller. Um, so we can, the only button, oh wait, is this? Okay, so, like the only button that appears to do anything is we can walk this way or we can bend forward and walk slightly faster. So we've got walk and we have walk slightly faster. Ooh, holy shit, there's a, Where's Helen Hunt when you need her? It's a Twista! Bill Paxton, get Dorothy! I think it's gonna be pretty easy to toss her in a damage path of this one. That's a big ass tornado. Perfidious Pete had, uh, you know, live in the Midwest. I've had quite a bit of experience, not just the Midwest, but the rural Midwest. Tornadoes? Yeah, those are a thing uh, I've had some experience with firsthand, a couple times, different occasions. This would be a monstrously devastating tornado that would basically ruin you and everything that you loved. And even being this close to it, you would probably be impaled by these flying debris more than being inconvenienced by them. We should definitely try and get in this lighthouse before this thing swoops up these cinder blocks and starts smashing our skull into raspberry jelly. I mean, I like raspberry jelly as much as the next guy, but I don't really want my skull mangled into it. Except for her hair, I gotta say, this game is so far visually stunning. Her hair looks like it's something you'd stick on the top of a Lego person, but other than that... I mean, seriously, that, that's Lego hair right there, right? Like, we could swap it out and turn it into a mohawk? Well, never mind. Whoa. That was so surreal. Yeah, did you see your hair in that scene, girl? That was we surreal. It was like time, somebody guys, swapped so your head out with a football okay. helmet for a minute. I'm in class. Everything's cool. I'm okay. It was probably just a dream. Shadow. From color to 
Now, okay. Can you give me an example of a photographer? Aren't you a little old to be throwing spit wads, ma'am? I didn't white. fall asleep, and that Anybody? sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller? Weird. Diane Arbus. There you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? I don't know, because she liked to take pictures of people who were really sad and post them places. Diane Arbus is actually kind of depressing and awful. She saw humanity is tortured, right? Yeah, I don't think we're going to get along, Victoria. Call me crazy, but the fact that you're a Diane Arbus fan? Seriously, though. I don't think I like the cut of your jib already. So we can do stuff to things. All right, we're supposed to look at this. And any one of you. Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? It's a picture of pictures. I can hear the class laughing at me now. I don't know. It's got sort of an arty flair. It's definitely better than anything Diane Arbus ever produced. So I mean, you got that going for you. You do that to me. So what's Isn't our goal too? here? Is to look at the objects on our table. We can't move. We can't what get if up. Arbus chose to capture people at the right. height of their You can take a selfie. I haven't kept up with my journal as much as I should. Oh well, now's the time then, because this lecture is rather boring. What they think. October first, my favorite month. The best weather of the year. I love watching the leaves change color, turning into tiny flames. Well, you should stop setting trees on fire. That's really bad for the environment. Still too damn hot, thanks global warming, and I can't bust out the big coats and sweaters or scary movies yet. Soon. Okay, let me borrow The October Country by Ray Bradbury. A fantastic book, actually. All right, I liken you already, Maxine. Good taste in literature. I haven't read much by him, which caused Warren to almost revoke my geek cred before I held up a copy of Battle Royale, another actually pretty darn good book. But he nails the atmosphere of autumn of small towns. The last time I wore a Halloween costume was with Chloe. I have pictures in one of my old albums. I should find a real Halloween party to crash so I can experience some social mingling. It's that or Vortex Club Stroke Fest swimming party. Or is that Backstroke Fest? You so punny, Max. Laughing at your own jokes in your journal? Okay, that's a little weird, actually. At least I'm trying to climb out of my cocoon. I shouldn't expect my life to completely change after a few weeks of Blackwell Academy. As my parents love telling me on a loop, you have all the time in the world. <laughs> oh, Max, you so punny, because it turns out you can fucking manipulate time. You're basically the doctor, except without the sonic screwdriver. All right, so what else can we do? We got pictures. Who's Kate? I've forgotten if I've ever seen Kate Marsh smile or laugh in the past month. She's really sweet and nice, even though the other students make fun of her abstinence campaign. Even if they act immature, everybody at Blackwell are seniors, not high school freshmen. She gets a lot of shit, in fact. I know she's involved in a lot of religious groups, but she doesn't preach to me, so I don't care. She's been extra quiet and introverted the past couple of weeks. She looks like she's in zombie mode. I wish I could help her, but I can barely help myself. I wonder if all that bullying has worn her down. I can see how it would. To make an effort to talk to her more often, maybe invite her to tea or a movie. So we are Max and we are a high school senior. All right. So much for going to the junior prom. Damn it, my dream is crushed already. Square Enix, all I wanted was an invite to the junior prom and you've already screwed me out of it. My heart's breaking a little bit. It really is. Although she's an adult, I bet she's not allowed to watch R-rated films. If she's a senior in high school, I'm reckoning she probably can. All right, so we got episodes here. We do have all the downloadable content for this game. Hey, Dad, what's up? 18th birthday. You're an adult now, but you're still our little girl. Check your account. Don't blow it all at once. Dad sent us some cash. I'm going to get tea later. Absolutely, I'll be free after four. Talk to you later. Oops, she could have taken I wasn't done Somebody reading. Else looked at this? What would they think? What's mom up to? Happy birthday, Maxine. We can't believe it's been 18 whole years since you were brought to us. Brought to us? So is Maxine, like, adopted, maybe? Who's Warren? Make sure you check out Necromantic on my flash drive. Mwahaha. Hey, Mad Max, let's bust shit up. Bust anything, we'll have to measure its velocity. Don't ignore this message. I don't think you and I are going to get along, Warren. Please, do you want to meet for coffee after school? I need an excuse to not study. I'm supposed to have tea with my other friend. Also, Warren, I yeah, I'm, I'm not really not really down with you. I have to admit, I'm not a big fan. I haven't kept up with my journal as much as I, I should. Okay, so we're gonna get that again. Robert got Frank. a camera. What's this pencil case? Me too, Victoria. We're an 18-year-old high school you senior, and we're still rocking a pencil case. I can't believe I still have this pencil case. Me either, Maxine. I was actually just in the midst of being incredulous about that. I like it old school. You could which just get a backpack like everyone else, like which I can't help but notice. Oh, no. I should take a picture to prove I'm still here. No. Plus, you don't... it's perfect for my portfolio. Really? And I no. have to get... Oh. My little camera bag is battered, but still kicking. Okay. Capturing so we've got... Urban solitude of the 20th century poet. This guy just keeps droning on and on, don't now, he? Contrast Frank's stark Americana. I do Salvador love my analog camera. Photos. Really? I should take a quick picture now. Okay, I'm disappointed in you already. You're rocking an ancient Polaroid camera. As a young, and I'm assuming aspiring photographer, 
I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a We'll come back to this in a moment. Tradition. Why don't you have a digital camera? That's what I want to know. Has a gift. Of course, as you, you know, know, as a teacher, report, sir, putting me on the spot the like that with saying that I have a gift in some kind of what is apparently a photography class, making it creative, uh, that's selfie. really kind of a dick move, sir. The that's going to get me hazed, man. I'm going to get bullied for that. Don't say I have a gift. You got to nourish that shit in secret. As long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you uh, please don't. tell us the name of the process that gave birth? To the first self portraits. Uh, that would be daguerreotype, I believe. They had them back in like the 1800s. Um, I mean, it, yeah, pretty sure it's daguerreotype. But I kind of forgot. You either know this or not, Max. Sorry. Is there anybody here Jeez. who knows their stuff? For a moment, he told me I have a gift, and now he's fucking snapping around me. Oh yeah, suck it! I knew. Perfidious Pete with the trivia win. Like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Did you actually say sad face out loud, bitch? Victoria. The Daguerrean process. Yeah. So my initial faces. suspicions about you, Victoria, we are not going to fucking be friends at the all. First American nope, not. Uh -uh. Was done by Robert you Cornelius. catty bitch. You can find out all about him in your textbook or even online. I don't seem to have a textbook, sir. I'm looking at these things that are on my desk. None of them are a textbook. The Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. Oh boy. Exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa. I'm not sure if you know you'll be feted by the art world sounded vaguely threatening actually. So we're an 18-year-old high school senior. Actually, I thought Max skewed a little younger to me. I thought she I wouldn't have expected senior. She looks uh, like You're a little kind of a rest of development thing. Ass. Yeah, Victoria and I are not going to be friends. Can we fuck with her shit? Yeah. Even her school books are gift wrapped. Oh, come on. I can't believe she made fun of me in class. Why did I have to throw away the trash? Years old? And people laughed. I didn't hear anybody laughing. She just seemed like kind of a catty bitch. I think everybody else picked of up on course. that. Of course. Victoria has to have the bestest, newest, most expensive everything. Yeah, well, let's, <gasps> She'll have let's text the whole school from her account. We can do this. We're going to frame her. Okay, find some incriminating illicit pictures, and we're going to make the fappening Victoria style. We can hack her. We'll put it from anonymous. People will blame 4chan. It's the perfect crime. The GRLT64S. With all the speed and power expected from a new greenlit, the uh, GRLT64S is packed with expanded features and manageability. It shoots what you want, where you want, straight out of the camera. JPEG images already have a superb quality. Yeah, okay, if you say so. Including a new level of depth, sharpness, and malleability. I seriously can't, like, steal her phone and just fucking ruin her life? Come on. I can get on her social media account and post some shit. Etched marks. Uh, what do we got here? Oh, this might make a cool shot. It's somebody's name carved into a table. I want to share whatever gifts I have with the world. I guess we have a gift. All right, hold on a second. I got to take a moment. Oh, wait, we got to go to our journal. Can we look at the... Oh, we can look at the picture. Okay, so we can look at pictures that we have taken. How do I... I want to I look at the picture, though. No, that's not what I want. I want to look at pictures. Oh, here we go. Oh, so we can only see... Oh, these are like collectibles. We're supposed to find all of these photos. Got it. Okay. Game mechanic understood. Let's talk about this Polaroid camera that we're rocking. First off, Maxine, very hipster rocking the retro technology. I got to say, nah, touch of hipsterism. It's, it's not going to do you any good, girl, especially when you got that football-shaped helmet hair working. Nobody, nobody likes a hipster. What's next? Are you going to tattoo a mustache on your finger, too? You should get a digital camera. If Think of it this way, Maxine. If only from a cost perspective... Polaroid film is actually not cheap, especially since Polaroids have by and large gone out of style. Getting film for that camera is going to cost you an arm and a leg, girl. Got to be practical. Let's go. Okay, can we hack this computer and give Victoria's personal information out? Can we dox her? Obviously, Blackwell spent bank on the computers here. Okay. Looks like somebody was already working on this. Cool. Mm, okay. I mean, yeah, I, I like the decolletage she's got working there. Looks nice. So this is Kate. All right, we read about you in our notebook, Kate. Kate looks so sad and quiet today. Poor thing. 
Hi, Kate. What's up, girl? Oh. Hi, Max. Wow, Kate looks like she has either smoked 12 big fat bowls or she hasn't slept in 14 years. Uh, you seem quiet today. You seem quiet today. Just thinking too much. About your unbelievable crushing lack of sleep and the fact that you look a little bit like Susan Sarandon? Uh, wanna go grab a cup of tea? I hear that. Want to go grab a cup of tea and bitch about life? Plot against hey, that cunt, Victoria, and how we're going to bring her down? To go over homework. No worries. Let's hang later. We'll get some pig's sure. blood, set it up at the prom, dump it on her head. She doesn't have telekinesis, so it's going to end better for us than it did for the people at Carrie's prom. Paper ball. Uh, what's this? Now I wish I wouldn't have read this. Purge. Dear Kate, we love your porn video. XOXO Blackwell Academy. I thought she was like the leader of the abstinence campaign. What's that supposed to mean? Are you in trouble, Kate? You know what? You look uh, focused. I'll I'll just go now. <sighs> I really want to boot Victoria right in her twat. Also, what is wrong with your legs, Victoria? Do you have some kind of serious wasting sickness? It looks like two pieces of uncooked spaghetti that have been stabbed into the meatball of your knee. That is not a good look. You are fucking waif-thin heroin chic. Kate Moss is somewhere eat just eating her heart out. What else is in the classroom that we can interact with? Stools, photo equipment. This is definitely where cameras go to heaven. Oh man, they have those sweet ultrasonic lenses. And look at that vintage rangefinder. What? You know, vintage technology is the thing that I, I just, I don't understand. Why would you want something that's old and busted? And you could have the new hotness. Oh, yeah, I'm rocking playing out on my Commodore 64 computer because it's vintage. Nobody says that. I'd love to see how it reproduces my pictures. Well, you know, I probably could talk about a whole gallery show with that thing. When I don't suck. Well, you I mean, couldn't because that's very clearly not going to be able to reproduce your photos since you take them on Polaroids. Got a poster here? I love seeing Mr. Jefferson's awesome photos on these magazine covers. Okay, so Mr. Jefferson is clearly a, like, successful photographer. Is grunge dead? Yeah, pretty sure it died the same day Cobain took a shotgun to the mouth. Then again, at 18 years old, I'm pretty sure Maxine would have been not born when that happened, so. Is grunge dead? Featuring the latest work from Mark Jefferson. Ten reasons to get electronic mail. So, yeah, he used to be popular photographer then. Let's say these days... He's fallen into the teaching category. They say those that can do, do, and those that can't do, teach. I guess we know where Jefferson wound up. That was amazing when Mr. Jefferson took a class picture the first week. Even though I didn't want to be in the picture at all, it was fairly fucking cool <gasps> to watch him at work. Maxine that. dropped an F-bomb! Oh, Maxine, I'm liking you more and more. You got the potty mouth, girl. We are going to get along famously. Damn, they have carbon fiber tripods here. The ball head even has a pan lock. God, I'm such a photo nerd. Okay, well, that felt very backstory-ish. I, I think we had already sort of established that Maxine is a photo nerd. So cool to see Mr. Jefferson's actual published pictures. Gives me hope. I'm starting to get kind of a creepy vibe from Mr. Jefferson. Both of his photo covers have been of young, nubile uh, ladies here. You know what, Maxine? If he asks you to pose for another picture and maybe do some modeling... You should say no, because that may be how you woke up in the woods, uh, unaware of how you got there. So cool that we can check these Probably out anytime. Check your underwear and make sure they're the on right side out. By Henry Cartier Bresson. That's rare. I'm Henry pretty sure you could find it online. Respect. The amazing Eugene Smith. Good to see Avedon among the masters. Dolly, of course. Lots of people I haven't heard of yet. I guess that's why I'm here. Or alternatively, why you should maybe invest in a, uh, a smartphone and get a web browser or something. Free TV. Let's check that out. Man, he even has the best plasma HDTV for a class monitor. Can't wait to watch some more documentaries on this bad it's boy. plasma? A plasma TV? Girl, what century did you grow up in? What is this, 2003? Plasma? Come on. Got to get him one of those sweet LED 4Ks, baby. Plasma. Here's a for the contest. Mr. Jefferson really expects me to enter. Why? I don't know if I'm ready for my 15 minutes of infamy. Oh, well, you're going to find you whether you're ready or not. Everyday Heroes, the Zeitgeist Gallery on October 11th, 2013. So this is our old past, I guess. Wait. Uh, never mind. I was going to say make a joke about our old future, but eh, it's just 
not appropriate because I think this game actually was published in 2000 and I want to say 14. What do we got here? Photo Even of the woods. Pictures, the forest around here always looks mysterious. Vaguely threatening. Also like a little bit like a terrible place to wake up. Panties around your ankles, not knowing how you got there. I'm seriously worried about this you Jefferson cat, Maxine. The lighthouse here. Didn't you say that earlier? You'll be safe if you get to the lighthouse, and then suddenly we can never escape the lighthouse. Whoa, Mr. Jefferson is not messing around with that monster. He probably paid 20 grand Wait, for that camera. Wait, not messing probably around with that monster. Are you talking about his penis? But I still dig my little Insta camera. Yeah, we should get out of here. I'm getting a real weird vibe from Mr. Jefferson. All right, let's see. It looks like Victoria and Jefferson are the last two things we can kind of mess with. Yeah. Can we punch Victoria right in the twat? I really want to just kick her right in the asshole. Every time I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. Probably because the bitch is talking smack about you, Maxine. And speaking of smack, now's your chance. You can whack her right in the face. Nobody's looking. Just pick up a chair and club her right here. This is ridiculous. I always get so shy and nervous around Mr. Jefferson. Well, based on the things he's said and done so far and his photo subjects and the waking up in the woods not knowing how you got there kind of part, I'm thinking maybe you should be a little nervous around him, Maxine. Excuse I'm getting a real me. creepy kind of vibe Mr. from this Jefferson, dude. Can I talk to you for a moment? Yes. Especially considering Excuse he wears glasses you. with no, black Victoria. rims and white Excuse stems. Us. That is I not cool. I never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. See, he seems a little overly flattersome too, Mr. Jefferson. That makes me really uncomfortable, bro. Uh, do I have to? Do I have to? I just don't think it's that big a deal. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear you know some I'm lying. old dude like Excuse me, a liar. But life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have to stop, to seriously, stop image. saying that. That's it's also putting a lot of pressure on me. Envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. I sort of like being an amateur. I mean, I'm I'm sort of young still. Can I kick Victoria in the... Nope. All right. This is ridiculous. Yeah, I I'm going to leave. So shy and nervous I don't think it's that ridiculous, though. I, I think maybe it's a justified shyness and nervousness. So we've done everything. Can we just leave the classroom? Where's the door? Right here? That's it? All right. Can we go? We can. You didn't tell me how cute I looked yet. I was about to. You Welcome always to the real world. No, it's high school, Maxine. It's actually pretty fucking far from the real world, actually. It seems like it at the time when you're going through it, but let me assure you, it's barely relevant to what's going to be your actual life. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. Are all teenage girls this insecure all the time? I mean, she just walked out of class and she's devastated and terrified that she looks like a total loser? Right, so we're getting an intro cutscene, and ordinarily, again, if this were not YouTube, we'd be getting some copyrighted music, and in fact, we may be getting some copyrighted music right here, so I'm going to have to talk at a furious pace to make sure this doesn't get content ID matched. I thought I turned this off. All right, so I think this is probably well what in this episode. One, because I got to go deal with this music issue, and two, we got a nice intro, plus Justin Bieber's there texting his friends. That's going to be fun, but I'm going to wrap this one up. If you enjoyed it, feel free to drop a like down in the comment section. Support really does mean a lot to us. And if you'd like to see more Life is Strange, you might consider subscribing as well. I'm going to go get rid of this copyrighted music right now. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you again soon.